Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this example. So we have a set x, okay, x is a set of all continuous functions defined on close interval 0, 1. Let us see. So you know that this is y axis, this is x axis, we have an interval 0, 1. So this is a continuous function defined on closed interval 0, 1. This is also a continuous function. This is also a continuous function, getting so set of all such continuous functions defined on closed interval 0, 1 is nothing but our x. Fn of t is one of it and it is defined in this way. Actually, it is a sequence of functions and we have to prove that it does not converge to 0 with this matrix d infinity. So when we say the sequence converges to any point x, when we say that xn converges to x, if the distance between each point of that sequence, distance between each point of a sequence and x moving towards 0, then we say the sequence is convergent to 0. Let us discuss with the help of diagram. Getting Suppose this is first point x1, this is x2, this is x3 and so on. So all these points points are moving towards a single point that means distance between xn any arbitrary point and x it is going to 0 then we say the sequence converges to x similarly here also we will check we will find the distance between fn of t and 0 so let us do that consider d infinity that fn and 0. So we are find, going to find the distance. Okay. So uh, d infinity is defined in this way. So I should follow the definition. Supremum of mod first function which is fn of t minus second is 0. t belongs to close interval 0 1. So this is equal to supremum of mod fn of t minus 0 fn of t t belongs to close interval 0 1. So this is equal to supremum of what is fn of t? It is e raised to minus n t. t belongs to close interval 0 1. We know that exponential function is never negative. So you will have e raised to minus n t. t belongs to close interval 0 1, right? So you know that exponential functions looks like this getting so exponential function is like this it is always an increasing function okay increasing function but see here we have e raised to minus nt so it will be a decreasing function so you know that if the function is decreasing then it achieves its maximum value at first point suppose it is defined on 0 1 so it is decreasing function so that's why it achieves its maximum value at first point getting and it achieves its minimum value at last point. So obviously its supremum will be at 0. So it is equal to e raised to 0. e raised to 0, right? What is value of e raised to 0? 1. So distance between fn and 0 is fixed, which is 1. So distance is not moving towards 0. Distance is not getting 0. So that's why I should mention dn fn of 0 is not moving towards 0 as n tends to infinity. Let me mention here. Oh, just a minute. Huh? Let me write the remaining part here. Okay. So that's why, that's why that fn also does not converge to 0 as n tends to infinity in x, in this matrix space, x d infinity. So therefore, we say that fn of t does not converge to 0 with this matrix d infinity. So the solution is over. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.